Hi, everybody. Welcome to a new episode of Osprey Observer TV. Your host, as always, Johnny Torres, and joining me, as always, the great Marie Gilmore, editor-in-chief of the Osprey Observer. And uh, we try to bring you some amazing stories that are happening right here in eastern Hillsborough County. And uh, today, it's not only exactly that, but so much more. Uh, we'll talk about an amazing person doing unbelievable things in our community. Uh, I just can't sum it up in words, and so that's why Marie has the interview. Let's check it out. Hello, hello. Welcome back to Myos Free TV. We're here for another episode of our podcast. And we have our special guest, Sam Trisvant from Bell Creek Academy. She's one of our student interns, and we're teaching her all about the podcasting <laughs> world today. And our guest, I'm so excited to be here today with our guest. Her name is Von DeBar, and she has been an inspiration in our community for a long, long time. But she's got a huge story to tell. She's a double amputee, she's a champion a champion in an athletic field. And we're going to let Sam ask her her first question and, and just find out a little bit more and big plans ahead. Go ahead, Sam. So my question is, what has inspired you to pursue your weightlifting and your career there? Okay, so when I became an amputee uh, in 2013, it was a little bit of a struggle. And one of the things that happened was I kind of felt sorry for myself and I gained a lot of weight. I was over 315 pounds. And I looked in the mirror one day and I didn't recognize myself. And I went to the gym. And while I was at the gym, I saw some young kids powerlifting. And I was like, what are they doing? <laughs> and I went over and one of them said, I'm powerlifting. I said, what does that involve? And they told me, you know, deadlifting, squat and bench. And, and they showed me the movements and I thought, I want to do that. And the kid looked at me and said, you can't. And I said, what? And he's like, you don't have a leg. And I was like, so I got a prosthetic. And I turned around and went to the front desk of that gym and said, I want to be a power lifter. And that's, that's what happened. So um, that's what got me into power lifting. And it helped me lose weight. Um, now 185 instead of 315. And, you know, I compete a lot. And I was just yesterday invited to compete in the Arnold UK in October. What? So I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to go to England, Birmingham, and I'm going to represent the US as a power lifter. Wow. Um, and I'm going to break some records again. <laughs> so that's exciting. Yes. God, I'm so proud of you. Oh my goodness. I'll be so excited. I definitely need to stay in touch. We're going to do a story on you for that. Tell us about what awards you have won powerlifting. Um, so I have competed in the Arnold every year in Columbus, Ohio, since 2017. I am the world's strongest disabled woman in the neurological class because I'm a paraplegic. And um, I hold a couple of world records in the bench press, all time world records in the bench press. And I run a marathon as an amputee, a half marathon at Disney. Um, I'm doing a 5K the day before Mother's Day in Brandon. It's, it's um, it's a mother's empowerment 5K, and I got invited to do it. And I just recently got new prosthetics, and I'm walking as a paraplegic, so I'm gonna walk that 5K. And like they say, I am the turtle, but the turtle always finishes the race mm -hmm. slow and steady. One hundred percent. Wow, Vaughn, what a great story. Okay, I have never done a marathon or a half marathon. <laughs> I'm feeling very <laughs> unaccomplished over here. Like, what's my excuse? 5K is a very far distance for me. I'm really proud to finish 3.1 miles. That's amazing. I'm so proud of you and how far you've come. This is just amazing. And you have more you have more to do you're not even finished winning you know going international and winning championships and awards as a power lifter but you're not done are you you've got some big plans ahead tell us about those so i just recently started ability eats and i'm in the process of doing a kickstarter to get a handicap accessible wheelchair food truck and the goal is to only hire disabled and special needs persons 
that can work limited hours because they are disabled or they're on benefits and they don't want to lose their health insurance. But more importantly, I want those kids that are Down syndrome, autistic, Asperger's, in a wheelchair, amputees, MS, I could go on forever, to feel part of society, to feel like they're doing their part. And the whole goal is to offer, you know, free meals at Special Olympics with our food truck and our kids out there working and doing corporate events and corporate catering events that will fund Ability Eats because the idea of it is so I can only work five to 10 hours a week. Who's going to hire me? We will. Because if we have an army of special needs and disabled people working in the same company, we'll always be staffed but they can learn a skill and they can feel like they are a productive providing member of society and they're earning a paycheck. And it really isn't about the money. It's about getting out of their homes, getting out there and doing something other than going to school or a special program for special needs kids. I coach a special need, a special Olympics powerlifting team and they're actually competing in track and field on the 24th at Cypress Creek High School. They just completed um, track and field at Jesuit in March. And they train every Saturday at Bay Care Health on Lithia and Bloomingdale. And Bay Care Health gives that for free to them. You work with Specialty Fit, which I love that program. We've done quite a few stories in the paper. And tell me again, you practice Mm -hmm. at Bay Care Health Hub, but it's open to kids of all ages and like so any special kids. yeah kids and mm-hmm. so my brother-in-law my brother-in-law here is is 43 and he lives with us and he has special needs so we take him to specially fit um i've been coaching at specially fit for several years and the best part about specially fit is it is free to kids of all ages with down syndrome autism asperger's all of those things And it's every Saturday at Bay Care Health Hub from 11 to 1. Uh, Changes, sometimes it's at noon, sometimes it's 11 based on their schedule. But you can go to Specially Fit Foundation's Facebook page or their website to get the schedule for every month. And um, it's a really great program. And for me, you know, as a disabled person, I think it's important that we inspire people and remind people that no matter what happens in life, no matter what hurdle comes across, whatever health issues you have, there's no limits to what you can do as long as you put your mind to it and you find the program that works for you that's going to help you succeed. What, so. what an amazing outlook you have, Vaughn, on life. How during a global pandemic and a shutdown, how do you keep that positive attitude? What's a good piece of advice you can share with our readers of all abilities how to keep that positive outlook and that you just have such a spark and you do so much. And we really thank you for everything you provide to our community and for our special needs community. This is amazing. So um, the biggest thing about the pandemic was um, as a chef, I had access to food. So I began cooking and delivering food to people's homes that were shut in and, you know, friends in my community. And then I posted, if you know anybody that's stuck in their homes, they have no access to food, they're feeling deprived, they're feeling alone, I'm going to cook some food and we're going to door drop it. They can wave out their window. Um, But most importantly, volunteer for Meals on Wheels. They are running year round. They're providing meals during this pandemic. You can still do things And not be shut in if you're able-bodied or you have the ability to get in your vehicle, drive to Meals on Wheels, pick up the deliveries, because you're door dropping it. So you're not exposing yourself or anybody to any chances of getting anything. So there's so much in our community, and I'm sure the Osprey has a, a links on their page that offers you volunteer situations and scenarios, nursing homes, um, rehab centers, hospitals, you don't have to go there to do something for them. 
one of the newest projects I'm working on right now is with a local woman and we're making cookies and making decoration kits to drop off at nursing homes and they can decorate their cookie for Memorial Day. So we're doing American flags and stars and ribbons and they'll have their own little squirt bottles of icing and they are really isolated. They cannot leave at all. And their staff is quarantined as well. And I know that your mother-in-law was in a facility and you spent a lot of time with the face shield. Oh yeah. But, so this program that I'm starting is going to deliver cookies that have their own baking kits. They're, they're already baked, but they have their own decorating icing kits, different colors, and the staff can help them decorate their cookies. And then the best part of it is at the end, they can eat it. And that's going to be a fun activity that they can do with them. And if they do have the visitation where you can visit them and see them through the glass, they can show their work of art to their family members. But it gets them out of their room and working with others that they can be with. And they're wearing masks. So there are they're protected. So this is wonderful. So tell me, we got to wrap up because we Mm -hmm. only have a limited amount of time. But tell me how people can get in touch with you, Vaughn, and If there's a sponsorship opportunity for those cookie kits for the nursing homes and the rehab facilities, we are in. Absolutely. We will support it 100%. So um, starting on Monday, abilityeats.com will be live. And there will be a tab on there for sponsorship for the cookies. Also, we will have a link to our Kickstarter campaign for the food truck. And we are in the process of getting our 5013C for Ability Eats so that it is 100% nonprofit. Ability Eats Facebook page will be launched tomorrow. So you can go on there and like Ability Eats Facebook page. And that's where we will have, you can order take and bake meals and all the money will go to Ability Eats and a lot of different events in the community coming up to raise money for the food truck. So just stay tuned, abilityeats.com. You can call 813-763-6911 if you have any questions, comments, or want to talk about sponsorship um, abilities that can happen with that. Also, you can contact Ability Eats through Specially Fit, so, and they're established in the community. Well, Vaughn, you have got a, a wonderful story to share. So many different aspects. We're going to get involved. I can't wait to try your food. I'll support the cookie kits. And I can't wait to do the story on the fact that you get your truck up and running. So thank you for what you do. And thank you, Osby Observer, for what you do in our community. Without you, the news wouldn't come to us. (laughs) We try our best. Thank you so much, Vaughn. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Thank you guys soon. Bye-bye. What an unbelievable story. And to learn more, make sure you check out the story on ospreyobserver.com. Also, congratulations to Rick and Nancy Monsapapa, who have been named Volunteers of the Year at the Campo Family YMCA. Also, on the homepage, the upcoming 18th Annual Tampa Bay International Dragon Boat Festival uh, has found a new home. To find out exactly where that is, you got to check out ospreyobserver.com. And also... One of my favorites, the Flight to Honor, is going to be coming up. A trip to Washington, D.C. for some of our nation's most incredible veterans, some who have never been to our nation's capital, and uh, they're going to get to do just that very soon. So for all those stories and more, make sure you check out the one and only OspreyObserver.com. On behalf of Marie Gilmore, Editor-in-Chief of the Osprey Observer, I'm Johnny Torres. Thank you so much for watching Osprey Observer TV. We'll catch you next time.